Hey guys, that's been a little bit. I just wanted to do a quick little grocery haul for you. I haven't done one of those in forever. I haven't really changed up a lot about what I'm eating. I still eat low carb for the most part. And to me, low carb is anything under like 80 carbs a day. So that's about usually where I max out for the most carbs I eat in a day. And may the fourth be with you. It is Star Wars Day. So <laughs> it's funny because I didn't even plan on wearing this shirt. I reached in my closet and just grabbed a t-shirt and when I put it on it just happened to be the only Star Wars shirt that I have. My husband has a bazillion but <laughs> it's just really funny. So that was really interesting. So I was like screw it I'll wear it to the grocery store and I literally had a man walk by me and says may the fourth be with you and I was like thanks and I should have said and with you as well or also with you but you know my brain wasn't that fast at the moment it was still early. So here is my grocery haul. All right so I got some drinking water. I um, usually split that between home and work. And then I'll just go down the line here. TP, yeah, yogurt. My husband uh, has these for breakfast most days because he tends not to eat a lot for breakfast. He's not a big breakfast guy. He still eats these, but I cannot eat them because they have gluten in them. So I eat these. Um, I have realized, I may have talked to you guys about it, the gluten. I can have one thing with gluten in it, just a small amount. And it makes me break out on my back of my forearms in rashes and my elbows. And it literally takes two weeks to go away. So I found these. I like them. They're a little on the brittle side. They're a little bit higher in carbs. But they're not horrible. And I usually end up eating one. And then we've got cat food. Which this one's actually made with some natural ingredients and stuff. It's not as bad as some of the stuff that's out there and it's inexpensive we just found that recently chicken because i'm making my famous chicken tomorrow in the crock pot um usually i go between the, the taco chicken and the cracked chicken i just don't put the bacon in the cracked chicken um you're like oh my god potatoes um these cups are not <laughs> my husband keeps one out for his tea and one out for his coffee um, the potatoes is basically something I've been cooking to take just a few ounces in the mornings um, to add with my breakfast stuff. It, it's just a, something I've been changing up a little bit here and there. But since I'm staying under a specific amount of carbs, it works for me. And so, like I said, it's I'm not completely no carb, keto, any of that stuff anymore. It's just lower carb. And if I have too many carbs, I know it. Because I start having like flutters and stuff and I just don't feel good. So, uh, the gluten-free pretzels by Snyder's. We absolutely love the honey mustard one that they have. Honey mustard and onion or something like that. But my grocery store just recently stopped carrying those. And my husband snacks on them more than I do. He absolutely loves them. But the honey mustard and ranch or honey mustard and onion, I think it is. It's amazing. So, I'm going to have to find them somewhere else. Taco seasoning, white cheddar popcorn, that's a snack that I snack on. The one thing I like about popcorn is, you know, basically you can have two cups, you know, and it's it's not a ton of calories, it's not, you know, and it's filling. So if you want something crunchy, salty, I don't, I don't worry about, like, the popcorn. I keep randomly trying to get different flavors because are different brands because, again, the brand I was getting is gone. <laughs> Uh, salsa, mayonnaise, water flavor. This is how I get most of my water in. I have been stuck on this flavor from Crystal Light, the strawberry lemonade, for, gosh, it's been months now. I just, I still love it. So, I use that. Nut pods. I've cut down on my dairy, um, which I remembered when I first started keto, I had to cut out a lot of dairy and just go to low carb. And for some reason, I started incorporating in creamers that had a bunch of cream in them again and I was having issues with dietary like not dietary stomach issues and I had been kind of stuck weight loss wise for a while even though I'm like weight training and stuff now um, but I love this stuff it's great um, my favorite flavor is the marshmallow they're not great on their own I have to add the stevia erythritol drops that I get at Kroger or Walmart once you add your sweetener to it, though, I mean, it's great because it's just, it's nut pods. So it's dairy-free, soy-free, all that fun stuff. I just wish that 
creamer was cheaper. Because <laughs> I was doing half and half and stuff like that for a while and I just can't do it. So that's why like when I get my cream cheese for my chicken that I make in the crock pot, I get this third less fat one. Um, my Quest shakes, I have them in the mornings for uh, extra protein with my breakfast. If They only come in four packs. So I have big containers of powdered ghost protein powder. <laughs> Excuse me, I've got the sniffles. Um, we just got the this peanut butter one. Peanut butter cereal milk. It's awesome. But we got several flavors in there. And I'm sorry. GNC has tons of sales. So stay on top of GNC. Because a lot of times you can get them. Buy one, get one half. Which is how we got the last couple ones we got. Mesquite pork loin. That's one of our favorite quick, easy things. You know, throw it in the oven. And the blackened chicken strips. Turkey crumbles for when I want to make an omelet or something. I'm trying to think of something different to do for breakfast. And then for my snack, every day at lunch, after lunch, I make a coffee at work now. I've basically completely cut out Starbucks. I only have a Starbucks maybe once a week. If we go to the grocery store, we might get one there. Um, which I didn't get one today because I got up and had breakfast and coffee and then went. So every day at lunch, I'll, have, I'll make a coffee at work and I'll have some kind of a sweet treat with it. So, I love these lemon bars. They're gluten-free from Atkins. And also, these blueberry baked oatmeal protein energy bars. These are great. I love these so much. And they've been out of them forever. They just finally have them back in this week. So, I'm like, I'm grabbing those. And then, if I need a sweet treat, these are great, too. These Quest cookies. It's just a single cookie. We like the mashed cauliflower for when we have... Uh, Something like the mesquite barbecue pork loin. My husband's been working a lot of evenings and stuff now. And so on the weekends, he's working too a lot lately. So I have to have something for like a lunch. I'll grab a couple of these little Atkins ones because they got great protein. 28, 23. Strawberries. I've been having a few, maybe two or three. If I want something sweet at night before it gets late, you know, because they don't add up calorie wise. And I have tried the trick, in case y'all didn't know, to put them in a glass container or a, or a mason jar. Don't wash them. Put them in there first. Take them out and wash them when you eat them. They stay fresh for a long time. I bought those a week and a half ago. They're doing great. Uh, cauliflower tots. We love these with the blackened chicken strips. I like these chicken strips because they're not too spicy because I'm not a spicy girl. I don't like spicy, okay? And they're not breaded. So, they also have like a, um, like a herb season one that's not breaded. They're one carb. One carb for three ounces, which is like a couple tenders. But we usually eat six to eight ounces at a time. We eat the whole bag when we eat dinner. And another thing I do for lunch or for a dinner is I just get this chunk white chicken in a can. I love the pop tops because I don't have to mess with my can opener. Who else can tell me that you have a can opener you don't like? This one is the safety one, so it cuts around the outside. So when you go to drain something like chicken or tuna, you can't really drain it properly like a normal can opener. I've yet to find a can opener I like. So I'm like, ooh, pop top. Yeah. Ziploc bags. Eggs. Go peak zero at the at nighttime when we have dinner. We'll have a little bit of that. But it usually lasts us, one lasts us at least a week. And my hubby is the energy drink guy, so he gets these rock stars that are zero sugar. And I have cut out or I'm phasing out. I only have a few irregular left. I'm cutting out the caffeine because I feel like I still have something else that's causing me some flutters every now and then and it's been getting better this week because I'm slowly been phasing them out I'm having like the decaf at night and then the regular during the day with my other two coffees and I told my husband since I'm having three coffees a day that could be part of it so I'm phasing that out to decaf it'll be completely phased out this week because I got enough for a couple mornings to have my regular and then the rest of it's going to be decaf so that is my grocery haul all of this was two hundred and thirty two dollars um it's really ridiculous what groceries have gone to lately but let you guys know that 
I'm still here. I'm sorry. This, the allergies have got my nose running right now. Um, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still working out. I've still got uh, my workout room. I just changed up. I love it when the cats want to walk in front of you. They're like, are you trying to trip me, sir? Hello. Uh, I still got my workout room. I still do my workouts at home. I still get about 7,000 steps in a day at work, so I don't use my treadmill a whole lot. Um, but I'm still, still coming in here about three times a week uh, doing my workouts. I've done. I just did my workout last night, so my next one's not going to be till tomorrow. Um, but just want to let you guys know I'm still here. I want to do a quick little grocery haul and a small little update. I am finally going back down. Um, I have not been at the weight I'm at right now in at least two years. I'm at 209. Um, my lowest was 190. So if I can get, or 191. I just feel like I felt better when I was down to about 190-ish. Um, so if I can get under 200, I'd be so happy. I'd like, I want to try to keep gradually losing some weight, but it's not like the main focus of everything I'm doing. I just want to be continue to be healthy and work out, work on my mobility and my strength and build muscles so that as I age, because I am 46, that I'm not going to completely deteriorate, fall apart by the time I'm 60 or 70 years old. I'm going to keep doing this. I've been working out now for in another month will be two years because it was two years ago in June when I started at Planet Fitness and I was going four or five times a week and I, I was at Planet Fitness for almost a year before I tweaked my back and I and then after I started going back a little bit was when I started the program with the trainer last year. Um, so basically two years I've been consistently working out building muscle um, I need to take more pictures and measurements I'm really bad at that I feel like um, it's not one of those things that I focus on with the weight loss but it's great to actually see the number go down a little bit because um, I've been hovering around 215 and then it was around 212 and then now, um, last couple weeks, it was around 210. And then this morning I checked, it was 209.2. And I'm like, awesome. That's great. Because like a week ago, I was at 210, like even. So if I can consistently stay doing what I'm doing, I've worked out about where my calories need to be. Yes, I'm eating more than I was eating before. But I'm not eating what I was eating when I was on the reverse diet and with the coach. Because he had me eating basically almost at maintenance level. And I feel like that was too much. Um, so 1,500, 12 to 1,500 is too little, 2,400 is too much. My sweet spot I've found to be around 1,900 to 2,100 calories. And then I keep my protein around 200, give or take, between 170 to 200. Um, the fat, I don't like to get above 100 on either. Um, and then like I said, the carbs vary between 50 to 80 a day and I can phase that down too. also like I can just completely cut out the potatoes I can completely put cut out um, my snacks and stuff like that but you got to be able to live realistically um, and somebody like me who has had an eating disorder um, I guess that's the first time I've said it as an eating disorder but I had a binge eating problem I really did and you know, it's an eating disorder um, I didn't get to be 300 pounds by just eating bad stuff. I ate a lot of bad stuff. You know, I overate constantly. And if I don't allow myself, like my sweet treat, every day at lunch, my coffee's, you know, I'm going to lose it, you know. And the thing, the interesting thing is, now that I've gotten to the point where I've realized how sensitive I am to gluten, it actually keeps me from eating something I shouldn't more than sugar because normally I know if I had too much sugar or if I'd go and get ice cream or something like I'd get the flutters real bad because my my body's like what are you doing with all this sugar in your body you're crazy what what is this poison you know and then I that effect only lasts like a day 
but the effect from the gluten lasts weeks from one time. Um, I don't know if it's still, I think it's about, about gone now. We went out of town to see my brother and there's a place in North Carolina called Smithfield's Chicken and Barbecue. It's been there since I was a kid. We love that place. They have great uh, Brunswick stew. If you don't know what Brunswick stew is, you know, look it up. But it's amazing. I've never found any that's better than that. And my brother has the same issues, actually more than I do, with stuff that he's sensitive to. And, you know, I'm like, most of the stuff that's corn, which I also found out corn chips are just corn. So if you want to... Sorry, I hit a button. So if you want a crunchy snack, it's a, you know, and you have no other option at some random convenience store and they don't have anything corn chips it's just corn most time it's just corn and salt it you know fritos which is crazy i didn't realize that but there's there's no gluten in them um but that it's just a random thought anyway we went to go see my brother we went to eat smith builds and i said hey do you know if there's any gluten in their hush puppies because technically hush puppies are made out of cornbread they're like a cornbread base and he said, yeah, I think there's a little bit. He's like, but I only eat one. So here I go. I'm like, okay, well, I'm not as sensitive as you are, buddy. I'm going to have three. This was two weeks ago. I just now finished. My, my rash is basically gone on my arms from two weeks ago. From three hush puppies. Really. So I, I feel like that deters me from eating like cake or sweets or something that somebody might bring into work as opposed to the sugar. Sorry, I had to sneeze. I didn't want to do it on camera, so I'm already snotting over here. Um, but yeah, it deters me because I don't want the after effects of two weeks of rashes. Um, I think what really deterred me the most, this is getting really long, I'm sorry, but I haven't updated you guys in a while, was we got, we both got new tattoos a um, month and a half, two months ago, okay? And recently, not this hush puppy incident, but something before I had had some gluten at some point. And it was actually making my fairly new tattoo raise up and itch with, and I was like, oh no, I'm not doing this. <laughs> it's like, this is not happening. So I think uh, that kind of scared me more than the usual gluten issue. Um, but anyway, there's my update. Um, I'm going to try to update you guys more often if I can. It's just, you know, life. And it's one of those things where I know a lot of people have completely changed the way they've ate. They've completely stopped making videos. They don't do anything on their channels anymore. And, you know, it is what it is. It's your life. Do what you want. My whole thing for how I started this, I ain't making any money. I got like 200, 200 maybe, people who follow my channel. You know, and it's like, I don't care. I'm not here to make money. My whole initial reason for this in my Instagram was just documenting my whole journey and I did like a week or two after I started I started making videos I started posting just to document everything and then to let everybody know that what I was doing was actually working for me and to, to show my progress so I figured I haven't done a grocery haul in a very long time I do shop at Food City by the way because I'm in Tennessee um I figured you know what since my husband my husband my hubba my hubby's at work. I'll video it this time. Alright, so I'm going to put this stuff away. I hope you guys have a great day. May the 4th be with you.